Welcome back to another episode of Red Business in Focus with thanks to Cork's local enterprise offices where we're meeting entrepreneurs with big ambition. This week we have Alan Bruce of BioThrive in the hot seat. Alan has worked for the last 30 years growing and managing distribution and services businesses in Ireland and the UK. He has brought this commercial experience to bear in the creation of BioThrive. Now BioThrive is a producer of consumable products designed to support shift workers and people who work those long irregular hours to stay going throughout the night. It's aimed at factory workers and frontline emergency services, healthcare providers, logistics operations and many others. So we can't wait to hear more about it. Alan, you're very welcome. How are you? Come here, Jonathan. I'm, I'm delighted to be here. Delighted to get an opportunity to, to talk about Barry Thrive and some of the products uh, and how they can contribute to making life a little bit better for people out there. You have 30 seconds. I've kind of given a little bit of a synopsis about you, but tell us what these products actually do in 30 seconds. OK, 30 seconds. Uh, about 15 to 20 percent of the working population are involved in shift work. Um, so think uh, production environments, health line uh, or healthcare, care, uh, frontline emergency workers and so on. Uh, research indicates that uh, there are some factors that impact on their well-being and they're in the area of nutritional uh, supports uh, and typically they can face nutritional deficits, um, they can have difficulties with uh, sleep, uh, quality of sleep and also with wakefulness. Uh, BioThrive has three products in its launch portfolio uh, to support uh, these areas. Okay, so let's dive into the reason behind this. I mean, were you ever a shift worker? How did you kind of spot this gap in the market? Oh, come here, great question. Uh, a colleague of mine, uh, Angela Collin, who's the brains behind the uh, the creation of these products, she spent the last 20, 30 years working with multinationals, looking at shift, at process deviation, um, and how you can improve outcomes for people working in the, in the shift world. Uh, and she's one of these very capable observers um, intellectual characters and she wanted to do something that could support shift workers given the kind of challenges uh, she saw uh, being faced by them. So back in about 2014-2015 um, this idea for a range of products that could support them uh, began to crystallise and in 2018 uh, BioThrive was founded. Now there's probably lots of things out there that might keep you going but mightn't be good for you um, and, and you know you always hear about people who are doing exams taking things that kind of stimulate them lots of caffeine, that kind of thing. What's in this that uh, has the same impact on, on their well-being but isn't bad for them to take on a regular basis? First of all, they're all natural ingredients. Um, in the supplement, there's over 27 different ingredients. And then in the oils, um, there's between three and five, depending on, on each oil. But it's not so much necessarily the ingredients individually, but it's their combination in specific quantities that comes to give this holistic uh, impact and, and can create that uh, positive effect for people. So when you were experimenting with this and you were trying to come up with the right kind of combination for each of these products, which we'll get into the three types in just a minute, um, you know, were you, were you giving them shift workers to see what they were reporting back? Oh, absolutely. And before we, we went with what we have in front of us, uh, we did some extensive trialling uh, and we, oh, I'd say it covered up to maybe several hundred people uh, and there was some fine tuning. Uh, but the feedback has been phenomenally uh, successful um, for, for the products. So tell us what each of these products are. So there's three in the portfolio. Tell us what they are. Okay, we've got a broad spectrum supplement that comes in a sachet and it's a once daily dose. Uh, then we've got two essential oils. Uh, the, uh, one of the oils is to help with quality of sleep and the other oil is to help with wakefulness and clarity. Okay, and the, the natural ingredient thing means that you can take them, it doesn't impact you in any way, you can continue on it, you just feel a little bit better about that fatigue that kicks in when you're doing that kind of work. Absolutely, um, you could call the, the wakefulness one, uh, it's alert is, is our name for it, um, an alternative, a natural alternative to, uh, to caffeine or a Red Bull. Um, you apply it and within about 15-20 minutes you just feel a slight little lift that helps with focus, with clarity and, and just feeling a little bit more plugged into things. So when you were putting this this idea together, like everything else, you needed a little bit of support. So you turned to the local enterprise office. How did they help you? They, they had a very good understanding of the commercial argument and the value proposition, what, what they felt may work in the marketplace. Uh, so I think there's a qualification piece that's, that's um, uh, 
positive tick um, in, in the first instance. But then they brought a range of supports in honing how we articulate the brand, um, in uh, financially, uh, in contributing towards marketing, uh, some consultancy that was needed, uh, some equipment that was needed. Then on the digital side of things, in helping us up our game, uh, looking at our target market and how we can voice to them uh, and how we can gain some traction. Well, the good uh, news for you, Alan, is there's sleepy workers everywhere around the planet. It's not just here in Ireland. So you've got a big international market that's out there for you to tap into. So what's next? Well, I think we need, and what's been difficult for us over the, the last two years has been the COVID environment. Uh, our, our model was business to business. Um, we get these products introduced. And, and you're talking about you know, rather large multinationals, your Intels, your Pfizer's, those kinds of organisations that are interested in these products. And of course, they've got a, a multinational footprint. Um, so it's about penetration into those markets. But it's, it's been challenging. Uh, it needs face-to-face -face interaction uh, more often than not uh, to get the, the product uh, into them and trying to find that time uh, with the challenges that COVID has presented has, has been a little bit difficult. So we need, to, we need to work a little bit harder and get some more success on the business to business side of things. We're also exploring the retail element of it and we have a launch coming up in Cork with about 40 uh, pharmacies. Uh, once we have got some volume there, we're into the UK, we're geared for the UK uh, and we're exploring Amazon at the moment and we'll see what other channels um, there can uh, do for us. So people are going to see a lot of this product over the next while. What's the website if people want to look at it now? Uh, bio-thrive.com, B-I-O-T-H-R-I-V-E. Alan Bruce, Director of BioThrive, thanks for joining us. Okay, thanks. And that's it for this week's episode. Next week, we're going to be joined by Pat Drynan of homehack.com. After 25 years in financial services, Pat pivoted his career to launch a new business focused on taking the stress out of renting a home. It's called homehack.com. Very much looking forward to hearing what he has to say. That's next week on Red Business in Focus, with thanks to Cork's local enterprise offices.